Voice identification, Agent Bishop. Log 493, Zeta. Voice sample confirmed. After successfully containing them, the fugitoid and the four mutant turtle creatures that seek to protect it <laughs> were effectively neutralized. At approximately 0300 this morning, the captives were secured by my troops and taken to a top secret US military base. There, I handed the fugitoid over to General Blank to do with as he pleased, while I prepared the mutant turtles for dissection in my genetics laboratory. There, I will unlock the secrets of the turtles' mutant DNA to create an army of genetic super soldiers. Yet, my work has not been without its snags. The turtles' allies have released them, and another mutant known only as Leatherhead. However, they have just discovered that there is more to me than meets the eye. Their defeat, recapture, and dissection is expected momentarily. Bishop out. Watch where you're waving that buzzsaw, pal! Stay back, all of you, or this will be the end of Michelangelo. Your brother's life is in grave danger, and you should have learned by now that I mean what I say. Yo, Mommy! <sighs> and you should have learned by now to never take your eyes off me! Get him! <laughs> Our defenses are... Silence! The fate of our entire race depends on your efforts to find the future toy, and you have yet to bring me results. Prime Leader, there is a war raging around us. Don't you dare! Bring me results, Mozar, or by the horn of Hagalir, I will see you disgraced and dishonored before a Triceraton firing squad. How close are we? All the connections are active, General. We should have full access momentarily. You should have known better than to try to hide from me. Your teleportal plans are mine, Professor. We're going to break you. No! No, please! Sir, I'm lowering our firewalls to give the mainframe full access. We've almost got it. 
Yes, we've done it. We're through. Defense protocols deactivated. Ah, perfect. We have full access to his database now, sir. With the designs for the teleportal in our hands, not only will we use it to completely destroy the Triceratons, but nothing will stop us from conquering half the known galaxies! Let the annihilation begin! Once the teleportal plans are ours, begin preparations to teleport explosives into the very heart of the Triceraton homeworld. Yes, sir. Um, sir, there seems to be a bit of a problem. What is it? The teleportal plans, they're, they're not here. Not here? Then, then where are they? I erased them. What? Before I return to Earth, I knew you'd never believe me, so I needed to give you access to my memory, so you could see for yourself that they're really gone. Now, if you'll excuse me... Sir, it's taking over our system. Shut it down! It's too late. He's locked us out. You've opened your entire mainframe to me. I'm inside the system. I am the system. As you should have remembered, General, I designed most of the Federation mainframe for you. No! Stop him! I'm sorry, General. I cannot allow you to disconnect me. Not just yet. I know the Professor is somewhere in this rat maze. Oh, uh, sorry, Master Splinter. Maybe they moved him. Uh, maybe not! Look! What the... To all the peoples of the planet Earth, it's the Professor! And the warring nations that orbit above, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I am Professor Honeycutt, and not so very long ago, I tried to create an instantaneous transportation system called the Teleportal, a device intended to bring people together, an invention to be used for peace. But instead, it has become the prize in an insane and never-ending war. Now I beg the Federation and Triceraton forces to hear me. The plans for the Teleportal are gone. Sir, it's on all frequencies! Scan him, you idiots! Get those Teleportal plans! It is because of me that this insane war has come to this planet. And so, it is left to me to put things right. I have completely eradicated the technical specifications of the teleportal device from my memory circuits. Sir, it's jamming all our lives, interfering with all phases of research. It's that tin toy the Federation was after. Reboot the system and clear it. I need these cell samples analyzed immediately. The turtles are gonna help me with my work, whether they like it or not. Just how big is this creepy underground garage? It's gonna take forever to find the professor. Maybe not. Now that he's broadcasting, maybe I can hack into their system and trace where his signal's coming from. Got it! I don't believe it! He's telling the truth! Mozart! Report! The teleportal plans are not with the Fugitroid. It's... it's some kind of Federation trick. Sever all links with the Fugitroid's transmission and go to full alert. Yes, Prime Leader. Purge the Fugitroid's signal from the system. Rebooting, now! All ships, defensive maneuvers! My work here... Is almost done. And so that you won't go away empty handed, I do have one last gift to ensure that you learn the ways of harmony. May peace prevail.
Isolation sequence! Jeez, what now? Okay, I've seen enough Bond movies to know. When the enemy base starts to blow up, it's time to go! Not without the Fugitoid. Come on, hurry! Sir, I think... What? Report! Sir, I've shut down the power to stop the virus. The fleet reports no effects. It appears to have worked. Then... it was all for nothing. This should be it. Allow me. Professor? Donatello, help me! Cover me, guys! Don't worry about me! Turn the power back on! Stop them from blocking my virus! Professor! It's too dangerous! Let's get you out of here! No, Donatello, I know the risks, but it's the only way to stop this insane war once and for all! Please, please help me. Uh, all right, Professor. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Stop them! They're trying to allow the virus to infect the fleet! Just a few more seconds, and... Go, Professor! Recommencing viral upload. to attack immediately! The entire enemy fleet is helpless before us! Victory is at last within our grasp! There is no honor in attacking a defenseless enemy, Prime Leader! Huh? This is not about ethics, Mozar. This is about the complete and utter annihilation of our lifelong adversaries! Open fire! At once, Prime Leader! What? Huh? No! What's happening? Ah! It's spreading to our ships! Cut all contact with that squadron! But sir, we can't leave them stranded! Do as I say! Cut them off! Now! Safe, Prime Leader. Whatever infected the Federation and our scouts has not touched the rest of our fleet or the homeworld. Excellent. Now, ready the long-range cannons. 
We'll blow the Federates out of the sky from here! We won't be carrying out that order, Xanramon. Or any other dishonorable command you might care to give. Traximus! How did these traitors get in here? We walked. Now throw down your weapons. No! No! Open fire, guards! Blast them where they stand! What are you waiting for? Do it now! Mozar, do something! Can't you control your own men? Lower those weapons! It's over! What? What are you doing, Mozar? What is this? This is revolution! Revolution is usually what happens when the world needs to change. Keep away from me! My troops will be here any second! You will all be destroyed! Not today, Blank. <laughs> Not ever. Professor, your virus has run its course! You did it! The Federation and Triceraton fleets are completely... Professor? Professor? Greetings. I am Sal, a B-21 Servitor class robot. How may I be of service? How may I be of service? How may I be of service? Professor! No! I warned him. His... His robotic body was never meant to channel that kind of power. It... burned out on him. He knew, Donnie. But he did it anyway. He was a true hero. be a symbol of things to come. From this day forward, none shall sit upon the throne of the Triceratons. The Senate shall be reinstated and the Republic reborn. For too long this senseless war has cost us our honor and the lives of our finest soldiers. Let a new age begin! Draximus. Our forces have completed the rescue efforts. The Federation troops are being brought onto the homeworld as we speak. We will treat them as allies and our guests until we deliver them safely to the Federation as our first gesture of peace. It will be done. There are but two prisoners that I must keep under lock and key. Perhaps they will also find a way to make peace. This Triceraton stench is more than I can stand! The only stench around here is your cowardice, Blank! You want a piece of me? Then bring it on, you stinking lizard, if you got the guts! Guess we ought to say something. I don't know what to say. Professor, I... I guess mainly I just want to say thanks. You were a good friend. Not only will you live on in our hearts, but your noble sacrifice will endure forever in the lasting gift of peace.